very early in the morning. You can see behind me is the Huntsman Center here at the University of Utah. It is really early for your boy, but uh, we are here and we are going to check out the University of Utah training facility and their use of the Noahlytics basketball tracking system, which I'm very excited to show you guys. Let's get to it. Several months back, I was fortunate enough to get an in-person demo of the Noahlytics data system created by a company called Noah Basketball. My demo was at the University of Utah, one of dozens of NCAA programs that utilize this technology within their practice facilities. Launched all the way back in 2005, NOAA Basketball's mission is to add detail and context to the world of jump shooting. Utilizing cameras and sensors above the hoop, NOAA tracks every shot 30 times per second for three vital characteristics. Arc, where most shots enter the basket between 35 and 55 degrees. Left and right within the 18 inch wide cylinder with shots ranging from minus nine on the far left to plus nine on the far right. And depth with the front of the rim labeled zero and the back labeled 18. With the help of facial recognition technology, NOAA also tracks the shooter's location on the floor, then automatically adjusts the center of the basket based on the spot they're shooting from. NOAA basketball is also utilized by over half of the NBA's teams in their practice gyms per multiple sources, with a vast plethora of uses. It's a key tool for developing young shooters, plus a massive resource in the pre-draft workout process that helps add context and detail to a prospect's shooting sample. It's also valuable at numerous lower levels of the game of basketball, including youth development facilities that use it across the country. I wanted to learn more about it and also get a feel for the system myself. Here's what I found. So the system's kind of a, a two-part system. You've got this setup right here, touch screen. You've got a speaker in this box. And the second part, you've got our camera. Facial recognition. You can see it all the way up there, guys. There's about four, how many cameras are on there? I think there's four different ones plus a sensor. Okay, four different cameras and a sensor covering the this entire side of the court. There's another one, I don't know if you can see, all the way down on the other side. So it covers both baskets here. But like we said, these cameras are pretty, pretty intense. They get arc, depth, left, right, and then they're also facial recognition. So anytime we've got a guy that walks into a gym, no matter what he's wearing, no matter if he's got a hat on, whatever he's got going on, grabs a ball, can walk out, start getting shots up, and it instantly recognizes who he is and tracks every shot that he's taken. So our guys come in the gym, they get this pretty cool touch screen. They can select what they want from a feedback standpoint. So if we throw it on arc, every shot that we start to take now is gonna register arc feedback. So on your release, it's gonna give you 45 degrees, 46 degrees, whatever it is that you're shooting. So it allows you to correct in real time in a sense. Exactly, exactly. Depth, left, right, same thing. It's gonna give you that audio feedback, left, right, minus one, minus two, positive four, whatever it is that you're missing or making at, and depth, the same thing. All right, guys, it's the ultimate test. I'm about to shoot on the used system using the Noalytics. So listen, we've got it set to arc. It's gonna be shouting out my arc with every shot I take. And hopefully I get some swishes here and you're gonna hear the splash noise as well from the swishes coming in. Let's do it. If anyone laughs at my form, you're getting blocked. <laughs> the splash feature I referred to there is a mixture of entertainment and practicality from Noah. When a shooter is within the ideal range for all three of arc, depth, and left right on their shot, ranges that can be adjusted depending on how strict evaluators want to be, the audio system plays a rewarding splash sound. For college and pro shooters, the goal is to get a splash as often as possible, a sign that the jumper is consistent and repeatable. 43. Forty-four. Okay. Forty-six. So pretty consistent with the arc. Just a little bit shorter. <laughs> Forty-five. See, now that one went flat, but didn't go in. So they say 99% of splashes, meaning you're in that zone, are going to go in. There's, there's one of the 1%. So one one right there. 47 
That's that perfect switch you want every time. Ten. Seven. Sixteen. I'll speed it up here through my attempts to hit a perfect zero or a dead center free throw. As you can see, there were a lot of splashes in here. I also shot a bunch of threes, but for both my sake and yours, I will not force you to watch them. And finally, after several attempts, I was able to get that perfect zero. Zero. Once I finished shooting, though, I experienced maybe the coolest part of the whole setup. We walked 10 feet over to a monitor on the side of the court, allowing us to review the shots I took just moments before in great detail. All right, David, how'd I do? Not bad. We look up here, basic shot make miss total 61 percent. that's not bad for not warming up and not shooting in a little while i didn't warm up at all we look at our averages averages are pretty good right we're in that 42 to 48 range we're right around that 11 mark we're in that minus three minus four to positive three to four range so we're pretty good there then if we break down consistency arc was pretty good your left right wasn't bad at the end of the day the biggest one you had some yeah. short misses we come down here 50 percent of those misses were short yeah, those first couple were pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, you get, you get this one up here that's... Let's see if we can pull video up on one of these. Oh, do we have to? <laughs> let's, see, let's see if we can get it. He's making me watch the video, guys. Let's look at this one over here. That's on this. Oh, God. <laughs> look at that. Oh, no. It's got a little Carlos Boozer to it a little bit. Oh, uh, that's nice. That was <laughs> kind, actually. Ooh, it doesn't look great, guys. But you know what? The shot chart overall looks a little better than I thought it would have. This is this is not that bad. I'm, Absolutely. And no, nothing below a C plus on the consistency grades. Yep. Over 50 shots. I'm actually I'm pretty happy with myself. So to it's be totally honest. What's pretty cool is if we want to go look at. So you think your three you struggled with a little bit. <laughs> Just a little. You were pretty good at the free throw line. So if we want to say okay, let's start narrowing down what we want to look at. We can filter this by total distance. Okay. And we can get into this where we're just going to look at these shots. So if we come back and look at this, 71% of the free throw line, your arc was really good again. Your left right was about perfect. Again, just your depth. You had a tendency actually to miss long, which is a pretty good thing. That's rare from what I understand. Like more guys, like about, guys miss about four times as many shots short as they do long yeah. from what I've heard. So if we wanted to come in and again, we can filter all of these down here, filter by arc depth, left, right, and then pull up all those different videos. So it's a pretty useful tool for us to break down everything with our guys. Absolutely. So not bad guys. No one can criticize my shooting anymore, <laughs> ever, because I know that's what all of you are doing normally. A big thanks to the University of Utah and NOAA Basketball for letting me take part in this demo. NOAA is here to stay, folks, both in the NBA and at the college level and many below. It's a big driver in the way technology is changing the world of basketball development. For more on this tech, its history and future in basketball, and its uses throughout the game, read my feature article on 538, which is linked below.